Uh, what about the uh, philosophers that influenced your views? Who are they? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I started looking at philosophy because it was just curiosity. But every time I went to different courses, I found there were interesting issues about how geologists uh, thought about things, how they knew that they were correct, how they uh, <coughs> had a process of investigation. And so I started reading some philosophers, and I found that a lot of philosophy of science didn't make sense in regard to geology. I looked and most of the philosophers of science were writing about physics and I, tr I eventually figured out why because philosophers want to have a kind of perfect absolute knowledge and science doesn't give perfect absolute knowledge science is uh, what you call fallibilist we always have to recognize there's something wrong if there wasn't, we, there'd be no science to do. If, if we had perfect knowledge, uh, there would be nothing to study. So in the, it, it's part of science always looking for something new. And philosophers don't talk much about that. <clears throat> but what I discovered was there were philosophers along the way who actually had an interest in science the way scientists are interested in it, to discover things. They, this might have been part-time for them. And I also found that those philosophers always had conflicts with the other philosophers. This is an interesting thing about philosophy. If, if there's a part of philosophy that you don't seem to feel comfortable with, you can always find an opposite philosopher who has argued pretty much the opposite position. And I discovered this in regard to, uh, in, in regard to geology. Uh, there, uh, at one example, in the 19th century, there was a very prominent philosopher who talked about the method for doing science named John Stuart Mill, very famous philosopher. But he had a very big debate with another philosopher who was not as well known named uh, <coughs> William Hewell. And William Hewell was a president of the Geological Society. Uh, William Hewell uh, did some geology, but he was largely interested in philosophical and other issues. But the things he wrote about geology were far more relevant than what uh, John Stuart Mill wrote about. And William Hewell is not mentioned in a lot of the philosophy of science texts. So I discovered philosophers like these that I could study and find philosophical ideas that were different than the mainstream, and they were all relevant to geology. There are many examples of this. Uh, one that I find most productive is the American pragmatist Charles Peirce. Uh, Charles Peirce uh, actually did some work with Louis Agassiz uh, classifying fossils when he was uh, after he finished his undergraduate degree at Harvard. And he uh, even wrote a uh, major paper that unfortunately never published on uh, the problem of the origin of slaty cleavage in rocks. Uh, but uh, the paper was done at a time when he was in a bad state in his career, and even though it was invited for publication in the Journal of Geology, it never got published. Uh, Peirce uh, understood what geologists were doing, and he was able to show how it was different than what physicists and chemists were doing and he was able to show why and uh, how all of these sciences were valid in each of their ways. Uh, they all contributed to a, a broader vision of what science was about.